been visiting school districts across Northeast Ohio to learn about their challenges and achievements. Tonight, Garfield Heights City Schools. It's a district of about 3,100 students and 500 staff. Garfield Heights City Schools has faced challenges this year. There were security concerns and a teacher strike avoided with a new contract reached last month. But as I found out when I visited there last week, new leadership in the central office has renewed hope among staff and students that the district can overcome these challenges together while also growing the good, which I got to see firsthand. Okay, so I know that you love to read. So which books are your favorite? Um, like I say series and mysteries. It's no mystery why fifth grader Jalen Ricks rocks. He just made the basketball team for one. Bam! Congrats! That's awesome! But he tells me he's prouder of his accomplishments off the court. Coming to school every day, doing my work, paying attention. His excellence in the classroom just earned him student of the month. And to get this award is just like awesome because you know that shows you that you're doing good. Celebrating the good with initiatives like this is just one of the ways Elmwood Elementary has been focused on keeping kids motivated and engaged, says school counselor Jen Huncherik. Um, to show them that what they're doing here matters. The Ohio Board of Education recently awarded Elmwood with its highest rating for creating a safe and supportive school environment. Huncherik says the reward is reflected in students like Jalen. Every day when I get up, you know, I just got that mindset like ready to learn, it's good. Today's going to be a good day, and you know, let's go. Here we are. Meantime, there's something to sing about at the high school as well. Show choir stars and National Honor Society seniors Michael and Michaela are helping start a new mental health initiative. I know I can count on you too. NHS students will train and provide peer to peer support. Michael and Michaela tell me it's needed. I'm just looking forward to just like helping people and yeah. just make sure. like making something that. We've been wanting to start for years, making it actually happen. And I know for me, like I've gone through it, I've gone through depression and I still have anxiety that I'm still dealing with. Um, and it's just like, I would love to help other people. This is like one of my big goals before I decided to retire, whenever that may be. 40 plus years in counting. Teacher and NHS advisor Joni Wonderstock gets emotional when talking about her students. It's apparent that their well being and hers are intertwined. I do love them and they know I love them. And that's what makes it even more special. Wanderstock credits the new superintendent for helping make the mental health program a reality. She tells me he's inspired a lot of optimism for the future of the district. We're all in this thing together, so we have to make sure we're taking care of each other. And I've seen a lot of great sparks of, of folks really, really taking care of taking care of business. And I want to support that, and I want to, to highlight those things and show everyone in this area, show everyone in the district that we can pull this thing off. We can do great work. We can take care of kids if we do the same together.